But areas in southeast Ohio are still seeing impacts from the winter weather that we saw last week. I spoke to a family that had to quickly pack up their belongings and move to higher ground. Yeah, we got our stuff and we were kind of anticipating it and just took some clothes and some three items with us. And it's a good thing we did because within two hours, we wouldn't have been able to get out. Jeff Hardwick and his family were told to evacuate last week when rising water and ice started to close off their road and brush against their porch. But then it started to, to build and then started to jam and it started to widen and then I'm like, oh no. The continuous rain, sleet, and freezing rain allowed for parts of the Muskingum River to flood and back up with ice. Days later, 50 to 60 residents are still blocked from their homes. And the road going into this subdivision, uh, as soon as you drop over the railroad tracks, is underwater. Uh, it's probably a foot or two underwater. The EMA is hopeful that the warmer weather will allow for the ice to break up as the river slowly goes back to a normal level. We're getting good water flow from the downstream side of the uh, jam, so that uh, is a good news for everybody. Uh, the temperature's warmed up, the sun's hitting it right now, so that should help uh, move the jam. And you know, Yolanda, that's the one thing that they're watching out for is that we are having this slightly warmer weather. So right. they're really hoping that that can break up the ice jam that they're seeing the okay. next couple of days. But they could also lead to some flooding problems, especially in counties south of there. So they're really going to be monitoring that the next few days.